Hey everybody, Luke here. It's Friday. Hope you're having a great day, great week. I uh, just wanted to provide you a little bit of an update. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Thanks to everybody who worked um, on those days to provide care for our patients, residents, and tenants. And I just wanted to give a big shout out to our uh, dietary staff for doing a great job with that Thanksgiving dinner. A uh, few updates today. Um, first is um, those of you who may not know, we are actually in our RHC survey window, which means Rural Health Clinic survey window. So that's our primary care clinic. Um, we actually have to get surveyed and earn that Rural Health Clinic designation. And we are set up, ready for that. We've gone through a mock survey. And as of November 21st, we've been in our survey window. So don't be surprised to see some surveyors on site and can't wait to report out on how that, uh, how that team does. Another thing that's happened since the last time we talked is our ED team actually went through our trauma survey. And so um, they had a great result. No citations found in the trauma program. Dr. Miller, Angie, Renee, um, uh, countless others have done a ton of work around trauma for our organization and they had an awesome survey and we're just awaiting results. Uh, fully expect to be certified level four uh, when we get that feedback, so that should be coming soon. Um, some work that's been happening behind the scenes that you haven't seen but and we haven't really talked about since the last employee forums is the rebranding work that's been happening. Uh, mostly the marketing team has been working on this, so uh, they're in the process of finalizing um, some of the things around brand, logo, colors, and we'll be introducing those soon. Um, in addition, there's some restructuring happening with websites, um, and we, we intend to have some of that work done and launch internally sometime this spring. So more to come, but I just wanted to provide a brief update because there is a ton of work going on behind the scenes and really excited to see what the results of that are. And into the spring, there, there will be a construction project that will be starting, a um, smaller project in the ED. We're actually going to be working on um, creating some more trauma space for that team. Uh, their volumes have been up, especially um, uh, in the trauma areas and the acuity. And so uh, we'll be expanding um, the, the square footage we have available for trauma, as well as some of the nursing station um, uh, remodel that, that got paused uh, early on in the pandemic. So um, what you'll see down the main corridor is maybe a little bit disruption around the mail room. Uh, keep an eye open. There was some communication in the compass around that. Um, and um, and we'll, we'll do our best to communicate any disruptions, but it'll mostly be isolated to that EE team. Um, so lastly, I just want to give a big shout out um, to um, our workforce team for doing all the coordination with the, uh, with the Christmas party, which we're bringing back for the first time in a few years, which will be happening next week. I hope everybody has a chance to attend and, um, and hope to see you there. So uh, until next time, have a great day. I uh, look forward to seeing you soon.